Alrighty, hello guys, Dr. Me Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today you will see something very strange. Uh, at least to start off with. Here we are actually in our very, very old career mode. Uh, and we are just standing around on an island. Uh, I've been flying around by myself, I haven't been recording this. Uh, in that plane right there for a little while, trying to get some research points. Uh, in order to actually unlock a lot of things for the Frantico oil series. Uh, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm trying to unlock all of the things we need in order to actually use the tanker, which would be awesome. Uh, and then we're actually going to start the oil tanker uh, Frantico series. So yeah, that's what I'm actually doing here. However, that's not what we're going to do today. What we're actually going to do today is we're going to add some bilge pumps to the Frantico oil tanker. And um, yeah, we're going to make sure that it will automatically empty itself if water gets inside. So let's go ahead and uh, get on with it, shall we? Alright, so I know a lot of you guys are actually kind of bored of me um, actually like working on this thing. However, we do actually need bilge pumps. Uh, so in order to actually put the bilge pumps in, we will uh, we'll go ahead and put them in. Yeah, in order to actually have them, we do have to put them in. So, uh, where I was thinking of putting them was in this little section right here because it's currently empty. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a bunch of bilge pumps in here. Uh, we're obviously going to empty out these rooms, I guess. Um, as well as these rooms, and also the next room as well, and then also this bit. So, we need a bunch of bilge pumps, uh, and that'll work out completely fine. I am actually going to go ahead and delete a hole in here. There we go. Uh, so we only need one bilge pump for the front one, uh, and that makes sense. Alright, cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so in order for this to actually work then, we need to go ahead and go on both sides and we're going to go ahead and delete this right here. This brings us into the corridor and that is completely fine. If we go backwards, we actually need to get into this room too, so we'll go ahead and delete right here. Uh, actually right there, there we go, that's awesome. And then we need to get into this corridor as well, which is right there. And then finally, we do actually need to go backwards. Oh, this room. Uh, we need to go backwards and we need to get into this room in order for this to actually work out properly, so uh, let's go ahead and paint that real quick and we'll figure out a way of getting there. So I'm thinking we delete this. Oh no, that's the ladder. Uh, we delete that, there we go. And we delete a bunch of this, there we go. Uh, and we'll put the actual stuff in going down to here and that'll be fine. So let me go ahead and do this. Right, so we need a pipe. Yes, it's going to be an angled pipe and it's going to go right there. Hopefully that's right. Oh god, it's not. It's not right. Alright, put that there like that. Good. We're going to have a fluid port on the end of it, of course. Right there. Very good. And then we need the rest of it to literally just go in. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and put this piece right here like this. Um, we're going to put a piece like this. There we go. And then a piece backwards. This will go into a pump uh, and it'll totally work. Alright, very good. So, we need pipes again. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, and they're literally just going to attach together. So... Put that on there. There we go. There we go. And uh, there we go. All right. Awesome. So that bit is actually fine. That bit's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill this in. There we go. Actually, we don't need to. No, we don't need to. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pump. Here we go. Uh, we need one of these, obviously. And we want this to be in. Yeah, it is. All right. Very good. Very good indeedy. All right. If we can put this in the right place, that would be great. And this should be out. Yes, it is. Uh, and I'm actually thinking it's going to go out onto the deck. Yeah. Now, that might be a weird thing. But, at the same time, I don't think it actually is. So, we're going to delete this real quick. And that's going to be a way out onto the deck. And it's going to be fine. Yeah. Now, this is okay. Alright, cool. Only do this on one side. We're going to go ahead and ha have this come up and here. Uh, and if we do pump it out onto the deck, it will slowly, like, go away. So, that's what we're doing. Alright, there we go. That one is in and uh, it'll automatically do its job, which is awesome. Uh, we do actually need to put in some logic for that to work, uh, but that is good. So we've actually got one for this room and that should work out fine, which is very, very cool. I don't actually think, uh, this is this is me being a business person <laughs> in this situation for the Frantico Oil Company. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this right here like this, obviously. Uh, actually move it forward one. There we go. We're going to put that there. Uh, we're going to do it so that we, we minimize the amount of pumps we actually need. So we're going to go ahead and put that there like that. Very good. We're going to go ahead and put this here like this as well. All right, fantastic. Uh, and essentially, we're just going to all attach them both to there. Now, you might be wondering why I'm only using one. Uh, and it's because we don't necessarily even need to. They don't pump out that much water. Or they don't need to pump out that much water. So 
that's fine. The way we've got it. All right, and there we go. That is awesome. So essentially what we do from here then is we grab this thing. Uh, we go ahead and we move it backwards like so. Move it out to the sides. We grab all of this. And we go out to the side here. We grab all of this. And we copy it. And we move it down to the point where we need it. So about right there. Very good. We don't break anything else. Awesome. And then we need it again. All the way over here. Paste it. And we need to merge these in. So merge this with this. Merge this with this. And that's awesome. So all we do from here is we delete this piece. We'll have a bit go up and that'll be fine. Um, this is slightly annoying. But that's fine as well. There we go. Uh, and that'll totally work. So go back to the pipes. Go ahead and whack one of those on there. It goes straight up. That's awesome. Uh, put one on there as well. And put one on here. There we go. All right. And then what do we do from there? We go ahead and we get the fluid pots. And we just slap them all in. There we go. One there. Very good. Let's continue backwards. One right there. Very good. And finally, one there. All right, that's it. Good. Uh, so, all of that will work, and it'll work out fine. However, we do have a bit of a problem, and that is that these bedrooms uh, don't have anything. <laughs> these bedrooms won't work, because um, there's no pump for them. Yeah, that's an issue. That is a bit of an issue. Uh, and they're probably the most likely part to actually get hit. So, what I'm thinking is... Instead of making a whole new pump, we're going to go ahead and delete these. There we go. Going to go ahead and put this piece on here like so. Delete this. Oh, we can't put that there. We're going to have to have it go up there, which is fine because we can just do this. There we go. Very good. Have it go backwards. Go ahead and get this piece and bring it straight back. There we go. Delete this piece. Put the fluid part right there. And that's it. All right. And they actually can be separate pieces too now. All right. Fantastic. Yes. No, this totally works. Very good. Okay. So with all that being put in, we need to actually add some logic. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So what we need is a greater than, which is this thing right here. We only need, oh, actually we need one per pump, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so no, how does this work? We actually need a lot of these. Okay. That's fine. Uh, and we can actually fit them in here. So because this one goes to four, I believe we actually have to have four, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have two on this one. We're going to have two on this one. Uh, like so. And then we're going to only have one on this one. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. All right, very good. So uh, let's go ahead and attach these all to their pumps. There we go. Can we do two? <gasps> we can't. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. How does this work then? I'm not sure. Um, right, okay, just put one in. That's fine. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, and then one for this one as well. I don't know how this is going to work, because essentially, they're all different rooms. So, maybe we should just put, turn, oh, we should just turn on the bilge pumps. If there's water coming in, uh, we'll notify us, um, somehow. <laughs> and, uh, we'll do it that way. So, we'll have them automatically turn on via, uh, a button up here. Yeah, okay, this works. Uh, we'll put a button in. Uh, right there like that. This is gonna be bilge pumps. Is there a D? I'm gonna say yes. Bilge pumps, uh, lower. Lower bilge pumps. I don't know if there's a D. The English language is weird! There's no D. Right, okay, cool. So, bilge pumps, there we go, awesome. Uh, we're gonna attach this to all of those pumps that we just put in. So this one, this one, uh, this one, this one. And that's it. All right, very good. We got all the pumps in. Uh, we do need to check if they work. So uh, we're going to attach this to the electricity real quick. Let's go ahead and attach that up to there. All right, we're going to then attach them from there onwards. Okay, fan dabby dozy. That's awesome. Uh, and we need to check if they work. So how do we do that? <laughs> how do we do that? I think what we do is we delete this. Okay. Which will empty the main tank out into here. We delete this as well. We delete this. And we also delete this piece. And we press play. Okay, so it should automatically sink. It's still buoyant somehow. Even though it should be flooded completely. There's nothing in there. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Why is there nothing in there? I don't know. This is the cargo tank. Full. There we go. Now it should sink. 
Yes. Alright, very good. Very good. It hasn't sank at the back, but that's okay. So we need to go in here. We're going to press this button. Oh, it doesn't have a thing. It doesn't have a thing. Hold on. Do, 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 do. We need electricity for it. There we go. Awesome. Spawn it in. It's going to sink again. We're going to get on board and hopefully we can make it work. Here we go. So, in theory... I don't know if we've got a cargo tank thing anywhere. Because we should. I don't think we do. In theory, we should see them all pumping out. Which, indeed, we do. Alright, there we go. All of the pumps are actually working. Fantastic. Alright, let's fix all those holes. And that'll be it, I guess. Uh, then I'm going to go by myself back to the other save. Uh, and I'm going to start trying my best to actually find... Um... To find the oil rigs and also to find, um, the, what else do I need to find? I need to get all the research points and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we also need to find the refinery. But anyway, um, we've added the bilge pumps. They all work. And that is awesome. I don't think we need a bilge pump for this room. Uh, because if we did, we could just open this, this floor up and it'll be fine. Uh, same with this room up here. I don't think we need one. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very, very, very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.